A nice perk, because you get a wand. You get a wand. Um, <laughs> you had a special wand. Yeah. May. That must be a great kind of rite of passage yeah. for any actor doing a Potter movie. Yeah, it's the big drum roll moment but, that yeah. when, and it happened to me actually when we were, cause I got cast in the film and then we came to New York um, to audition other actors uh, in, uh, who were up for the film. And, and in the audition, they just, they said, you know, Ed just, you know, choose a one. So I had this moment ago, we're just, this is a big decision. Like, doesn't the one choose you? Like, you know, uh, but then I, so I just had a, a prop one for that bit. And then, but I watched all these other actors come in and be offered the same thing. And watching like really grown up people uh, sort of have that moment of what I get to, you, yeah, you know, it was yeah. literally you suddenly saw the, the 10 year old in everyone. And it was, um, but we all, eventually you get, so there are these amazing guys who design ones and talk you through your sort of, thoughts on who the character is and what qualities the wand would have and and uh, I thought that Newt would have you know probably not, you know made of wood he's quite a humble guy so mm -hmm. maybe shell with a bit of mother of pearl you know so it's quite a sort of it's not a massively flashy wand and then and, and then everyone and little, else turned a up a little with, scuffed up a too, little scuffed right? up from all the kind of he's been out in the field for a while and everyone came with their really glamorous ones and I got like Colin's one, it's so cool. Yeah, but you must have loved it. It's yeah, such a reflection of him. Well, exactly, but then I got a bit jealous. Those were all kind of bedazzled, <laughs> bedazzled ones. Right, it's like you love your car. Exactly. Until you see exactly. somebody else in the dark. Exactly. Um, what about the handle? Yeah. The handle is a big, that, that is a big discussion also. Yeah. yeah. So what material, so that shell, what materials were discussed for that? So, the, 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 so that is made of shell with a little bit of mother of pearl. There's just something kind of, poking out the bottom, but, but you know, we wanted, I think it was important that Newt wasn't, you know, they suggested things like horn and all that sort of stuff, and I thought that probably wasn't appropriate. Although what, what I do kind of love about Newt is you see him with his creatures, like there's a slightly brutal moment where you see him sort of hacking apart a carcass of meat to, to go and feed another of the, the, right. the creatures. And it, it's, it's, he's very sort of pragmatic about ecosystems and how, they should, how it should all work. So. Um, but no, that's, I, I mean, I, I love his one. It's, um, it travels with me. It's just back there. <laughs> really? No, it's actually not it's in the hotel. But I do actually embarrassingly take my wand with me. You travel with it Genuinely everywhere? Genuinely travel with my wand. Um, what do you do with the wand when you're just not on the set? Just occasionally take it out and just, just, just wave it around, see if it's working yet. Yeah, right. Still not yeah. working. <laughs> because it is actually it's magic. Genuinely. Yeah. No, but I was obsessed with, it, with magic when I was a child. And, and then you get given an actual wand, and it's your wand, and you have to keep it close. Hey everybody, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment if you enjoyed it, or if you didn't enjoy it. And for more of the Jess Cagle interview, click on the subscribe button down here. We've got plenty of other great videos for you too. Check them out by clicking on one of these links.